Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, what advice would you give to a guy who is single and looking to be in a relationship? This question was sent to me from 25-year-old Stephen, and he just wants to know what he should do. This isn't a one-size-fits-all answer, so everybody bear with me with this because this is just sort of general things that I feel are good to have to look for when you are ready to be in a relationship. Speaking of which, you have to be ready to be in a relationship and know that you are. Also know what you want in a partnership. What's important to you? These things need to be really known within your heart before you start looking for someone to share your life with. It's really important to know these things because if you don't know what you're looking for, you're going to keep going through situation after situation. And yes, when we date, we don't marry the first person that we date, but we at least have an idea of what makes us tick, what we want in a partner. So the first thing I would suggest that you you know and you get is that you are supposed to have some expectations and boundaries when you are out dating and looking for your special person. You have to have some sort of situation that, you know, you're not going to just let everybody bounce into your life. They have to fit into your life. So this is where the expectations come in and some boundaries. You want to make sure that the person you're going out with has the same morals, values, viewpoint in most areas that you have. Because when you have something in common with, with your partner, it makes things a lot smoother. It really does. Opposites attract, but they don't always stay together. So make sure that when you are dating, your first thing is that you do have some similarities with the person that you're going to be going out with. Another one would be any dating lessons that you've learned from the past. Look back, analyze what happened, why things didn't work out, or if you were with somebody for a couple of years, what were the good things in that relationship that worked? What didn't work? Be authentic to who you are, not what some rule book tells you to be. This one I really stress because I think a lot of men and women are confused on what they're supposed to do. What is okay? Is it too needy if I contact them after a date? If you feel it's okay and you had a great time with somebody, tell them so. You don't have to wait three dates to tell them that. You don't have to sit there and not call them for two weeks after your first date. If it was a good connection, keep it going. Don't put any space, too much space between it because you want to keep the momentum going and let them know that you're interested and hopefully they will let you know the same thing. Confidence is a huge attraction to women because if you can show that you're secure within yourself, that you respect yourself, you're happy and comfortable in your own skin, that's a big turn on and a big eye opener for a lot of women. Because sometimes people think they have to be a little bit standoffish, a little bit cocky, playfully arrogant, but that's not confidence. That's just sort of playing a role. Be authentic, as I mentioned earlier, to who you are. You're a confident person, show your confidence. That is one of the biggest things that women love in a man. Be careful about giving out too much information too fast. Don't talk about your past breakups or anything like that. Take your time. You can set up another date after your first or second one, but give it a, you know, a few days or a week or something in between. But let her know that you're interested. If you're not interested, don't put anything out there just to be the nice person. You can just say, I didn't feel a connection if it comes up. But if you're interested in somebody, let them know in a gentle way, not clingy, not jumping in there on all fours. You want to let them know subtly. Leave a little bit of mystery to let them know that you're worth it. You're worth seeing again. Be creative with your date plans. Be fun. Be witty, playful, all those things. You don't have to go and have these elaborate dinners and these these situations where you put yourself into a place where you're not really talking because the event or the venue you're at is taking over the 
you know, that, that communication. You want to be able to talk to somebody when you're on a date with them because you want to get to know them. A lot of people make this mistake. They'll go to a movie or they go to a, you know, a fairly classy restaurant where they feel like they have to be a certain person that maybe they're not. You just want to be casual in the first few dates with people. Get to know them, but don't tell them every sort of detail about your past or about what bothers you, scares you. Get the fun part out there first so that they want to see you again. And think about what do you want from them? Don't you want the same thing? So when you're sitting on a date, sitting there on a date, and you're maybe sit, sit, trying to figure out what can I talk about, say to yourself, well, what would I want to hear from her? What, what would make me happy that she said? And sort of maybe throw in the conversation along those lines, just to keep it going, keep it flowing. When things are really good on a date, they usually do flow. You don't have to force the conversation. So be aware of that. If you feel that it's a one-sided conversation and it's either you or her doing most of the work, that might not be a good fit for you. So pay close attention to any red flags and don't ignore those red flags. If you feel that you're getting mixed sig signals from her, talk to her about it. Say, I'm, I'm not sure what's happening here. I'm feeling this from you. Uh, you know, just ask the questions you want to know the answers to. So many of us put out this false front about who we supposed to be or who we should be. Be who you are. That's really the best advice I can give you. If it doesn't click, it doesn't click. It doesn't mean that every person you date, everybody that you, you know, set your sights on is going to be the perfect match for you. But you will learn each time you have a date okay, maybe that person isn't what I'm looking for. Maybe I need more of a athletic person or I need somebody who's maybe more artsy. Pay attention to those things because you want to have commonality or things together that work, that you are able to chat about without any problem. You don't want to invite the hookup situation. So talking about sex a lot or being even playful about it in the first couple of dates. That might turn her off because you're looking for something more serious. So let that sort of stuff come later. Get to know her first. I know a lot of people want to get the sex thing over with in the beginning to see if there's a fit, but there can be a fit romantically when you start slowly as well. Because if you go in there jumping into the sack with somebody every time you date them, you might find that the pattern happens where it doesn't stick and that you just keep going and doing this over and over again. You're looking for a partner. So you don't have to put sex as the number one priority, not in the first few dates. The one thing that I always loved on a date was when someone made me laugh. And today with everything going on, we all need to have a good laugh. And this is something that if you can implement this into your dates in the first little while of getting to know a girl, she's going to be happy to see you again because nobody wants to sit there in a serious interview type, you know, checklist thing going on. You want to be with somebody that's natural, that's lighthearted, that's just fun, easygoing. Don't ask all the tough questions. Get to know them as you would any friend or anybody that you talk to that you initially meet up with. People put so much pressure on themselves when they're dating and when they're looking for a partner. They've got this time clock ticking away of when they want it to happen by. Let that go. Go out there, meet people. If there's a connection, continue on. If there isn't a connection, move on. Those are the simplest things that I can advise you here. And I know it sounds probably very, you know, just too easy. But really, when you're in a good connection with somebody, it is actually pretty easy. If it's very convoluted and, and cryptic and all those other things that go with dating, move on from them and find somebody you're more compatible with. Thank you, Steve, for writing me. I hope this helps you. I think it will. Just be authentic to who you are. And usually that's good enough to meet the person you're supposed to be with. Just 
follow a few of the things I talked about. I did do another video a while back, uh, five signs that you your first date went really well. You can check that out. I'll try and attach that to this video as well. Thanks everyone for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Like, click like, and leave any comments you have or any show topics. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.